Hey guys, what's going on? I am John Ross, aka Watch JR Go, and today I'll be replacing my LiftMaster MyQ Hub, the old one, with the new uh, HomeBridge that has HomeKit support. Uh, I really just bought this because everything else in the house uh, is running on HomeKit, and this, uh, you know, you have to use HomeBridge or something like that, uh, the, not this HomeBridge, but the Linux app HomeBridge to make that work with uh, your garage door and uh, Hey Siri. pretty short at the moment uh, that's because my uh, like DMARC board where I keep my rack mounted and all of my networking gear is uh, mounted pretty high up on the wall I mean this is at, at least like six six and a half foot or something like that so uh, I'll, I'll be short this whole video let's open the box so this is the 819 LMB uh, pro tip buy this on eBay or Amazon or somewhere where you can get it uh, way cheaper than you can from LiftMaster Congratulations, your garage opener is now HomeKit compatible. Cool, throw that away. Here is the box itself. It's about the same size as a Philips Hue bridge. Uh, I'm kind of upset that it loses the ethernet connection, which is obviously way better. You don't have to do any ridiculous Wi-Fi setup or anything like that. Uh, the back of it, there you go. <laughs> Can't show you the HomeKit label, of course, but uh, it just has serial number. It has a place for a bracket to slide in that they do give you. Uh, the old one, has uh, a, I don't even remember how it's mounted, but we'll just go ahead and unplug it now. Uh, I use Velcro because that Velcro is beast mode. I don't think there was any good way to mount it. So I just kind of cut some Velcro strips just for it and it was good to go. Uh, I guess we'll pull the Velcro down and use the bracket. I, I wanted a bracket anyway. I'll take you through the rest of the box real quick. We just have the holder that the home bridge itself was in. Here is the bracket. Not bad. And uh, under that, you get a power supply and some screws. The screws are way too long for what I'm doing. Uh, they'd be fine if you were mounting into sheetrock. So I will find some short self-tapping screws and uh, get this bracket up really quick. I am going to swap the power adapters out off camera because they're connected to my UPS and this might be a little bit time consuming. All right, so the old power adapters out, new power adapters in. This is the bracket. Uh, so the bracket actually mounts to the wall with these little sides backwards. Uh, you can see it has a bit of a pass-through where you can get a screw head and a Phillips through here or something, you know, whatever screwdriver bit you're using for that. I'm going to go ahead and just throw a screw on the impact and shove it in there. Make sure you leave yourself uh, about double the box's amount of room to slide on uh, because it does fully slide onto this bracket but only from one direction and then it kind of locks in. So if you don't leave yourself enough room uh, on the left side of the bracket to slide right, then it will not work. using some tiny self-tapping screws and not the ones that come with it uh, because I don't really have a need for the ones that come with it. There we go. And uh, we'll throw a level on it and then put the other one on. Hey, the level actually fits in there. That's not bad. There we go. Bracket's nice and level. We've got it ready to go. I'll throw the home bridge on here. Give it some power it will of course no longer need the ethernet connection like i said so i can pull that cable get it off my switch here in a bit and uh, we'll start going through the actual setup power for the home bridge got a uh, it does have like three different leds in there mentioned in the quick start manual there we go it's on its bracket that actually works out pretty well I'm assuming the bracket's about a half inch, three quarter inch from the wall for ease of installation and to keep it cool because some things like, uh, I think the old one, uh, the hue is a little warm. All, you know, all of this stuff's a little warm, so that probably does aid cooling quite a bit. Now we move on to the phone installation. Uh, everyone seems to have trouble pairing their old garage doors with the bridge. I, of course, haven't tried this, but we're gonna run through it and see what it looks like. Uh, it looks like I need to add a new device. Here I am on the devices screen. You can see my old uh, hub is missing, so we're going to add a new device. It looks like I just need to go to... Ah, oh, there we go, MyQ317. Perfect. Uh, that is going to be primary home. Next. Uh, cool. Let's see if this works. You know what? I will scan the code real quick. Okay, so I scanned the HomeKit code. I can't show you guys that, of course. Uh, I put it in the room that it is in, which is a garage, and then I'll hit next. 
Uh, additional setup required, just add the accessories and do it in the MyQ app. So next, uh, I'm going to call this Garage. Hub name is Garage, that should be fine. Transfer devices, yes. Uh, move the garage door opener. Walk up to your garage door opener and locate its learn button. So I'm going to do that off camera real fast. Uh, I'm sure you can find the learn button on your garage door. I do have two devices and most people said they run into problems with two devices. The uh, light switch in the garage also operates like a garage door opener and uses the same uh, remote frequency. So I'll run through this real quick and uh, show you what happens next. So I push the learn button twice on the uh, garage door opener on the wall. Uh, I'm going to put the location for garage and garage door. Submit. Okay, it keeps getting louder and louder and here the AC just turned on, but all there is to it is to go push the learn button on your other device and then add that. You don't have to do any of this in order or use the wizard if you don't want to. I just added a new device, chose light control, hit the learn button on the lights. I'm adding garage lights and I placed it in the garage as well. Submit. And now garage lights turn off, garage lights turn on, and you can see the garage door opener open and close 33 seconds ago. So that is all there is to it. Uh, of course, you can also manage it with home. So if we go to the garage and home, we can now see the garage lights are on, garage lights off, garage door is closed. You can do whatever you need to do. It only takes a few seconds to set up. It's not complicated at all. The reviews on Amazon say I work in IT and I couldn't set this up. Honestly, this took, what, 30 seconds? I didn't really read the manual or anything. Uh, I work in IT. It's, it's really simple. You do not need to work in IT to follow these directions. Ignore the wizard if you want. Just hit cancel after you add the bridge and go from there. It only takes a few more seconds. And now for my favorite part. Hey Siri, turn off the garage lights. Hey Siri, is my garage door closed? Good to go. Enjoy your home hub.